Good Monday morning, everyone, and hope you had a great weekend. Your time is 8.55. I'm Lynn Bowie. Right now, let's go to Marty. And what that shot is showing us is what you're going to get as we move through the day. A little bit of a breeze moving water. Sunshine in the area 9 through the day. 33 now. 47 is going to be the high later. Lynn, quite a change from Friday. Take it away. Thanks, Marty. The nor'easter that ripped through Maryland this weekend caused severe damage. Alex Dimitrik is in Timonium with a look at the cleanup. Good morning, Lynn. The effects of two days of punishing winds are still being felt today. Thousands of trees were knocked down across the state, landing on roads, cars, and some homes. A large number of power lines were also brought down, and it will likely take days to fully restore everyone's power and likely longer to repair damage to homes. Lynn, back to you. City police need help identifying three persons of interest in the robbery of a mail carrier. They believe these three men were connected to the robbery of a female carrier last Monday. Police say she was making deliveries on the corner of Polly and Monument Streets around 2 p.m. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service is offering a reward of up to $25,000 for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Lady Luck shines on a Laurel man over the weekend at Maryland Live Casino. Manuel Ortiz hit the Super 4 Blackjack Progressive Jackpot, winning just over $1 million. He played at that game table for about two hours before placing his winning $5 jackpot bet. And stay with us as you take a live look right now at Federal Hill. You will have much more news and weather today at noon. But you can always find more online. Just visit us at WJZ.com. Have a great Monday and a great start to your work week.